Some of you may ask the question, why should I set up my own home server? It's easier to have a Dropbox or a Google Drive and it will cost a few dollars a year. Well, you're not wrong, but there are many reasons why certain people choose to own their data. A home server can be a great way to own and centralize your data and media instead of using several services at once. It is also useful when you want to make data accessible from any device in your home. Besides storing your files, it's useful to run different services, such as a VPN, a media server, a streaming server, or even a game server. Also, as said, having a home server will give you more control over your data and privacy. Now if you're convinced, one of the most important decisions you'll need to make before buying a home server is choosing the operating system. There are multiple options available, and each one has its own set of pros and cons. Before starting, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Each day, we publish interesting new episodes. Also, join our developer community by visiting fawn.dev slash join. Now, let's dive deeper and discover each operating system. One of the most popular choices is Linux, there is no surprise. Ubuntu Server is probably the most popular Linux distribution for servers. It is known for its stability and ease of use. The best thing about it, in our opinion, is its large and dynamic community. When it comes to solving issues, there's a wealth of resources available online and you'll never feel alone. This is what makes it a great choice for beginners. Additionally, Ubuntu Server is free and open source, so you can customize it to your heart's content. Another good option is TrueNOS Core. Formerly called FreeNOS, TrueNOS is a popular, free, and open source operating system based on FreeBSD. Unlike Ubuntu, it was designed specifically for network-attached storage systems. It has a web-based management interface, making setup and maintenance relatively easy. This operating system has a wide range of features, including support for multiple file systems, snapshots, and data encryption. That said, it's not as beginner-friendly as Ubuntu. Windows Server is also a good option. If you already have experience with Windows, the server edition of this operating system has a wide range of features, including support for Active Directory, file and print services, and remote access. One of its biggest advantages is its compatibility with a wide range of hardware, making it a good choice if you want to use your existing hardware. However, it's neither free nor open source. Therefore, like any other closed source operating system, it's not as customizable as open source. One of the other popular choices is Open Media Vault. If you're a Debian user and don't want to install Ubuntu for one reason or another, Open Media Vault is for you. This free and open source OS is based on Debian and just like TrueNAS, it was designed specifically for NAS systems. Like most NAS operating systems, it has its web-based management interface, making it easy to maintain. Open Media Vault has a wide range of features, including support for multiple file systems, snapshots, and data encryption. And the good news is that it's designed for both beginners and experts. The best home server operating system is dependent on individual preferences, so it is important to do more research and consider all options before making any decision. Each one of the systems on this list has its own set of pros and cons. If you need simplicity, Ubuntu and Open Media Vault are the best choices. However, if your needs are more advanced, use a system that was designed for network storage like TrueNAS or Open Media Vault. If Linux is not your bowl of soup, then considering Windows is the best choice for you. Do you know other operating systems? Start a discussion in the comments below and let us hear from you. That was another episode of 5 Minutes Programming. See you tomorrow.